Rapid transit in India consists of bus, metro, monorail and light rail systems. The first rapid transit system in India was the Kolkata Metro Rail, which started operation in 1984. The first elevated mass rapid system in India is the Chennai MRTS, which started operation in 1995. The Delhi Metro was the first modern metro. The Mumbai Monorail, which opened on 7th February 14, is the first monorail. Do you know how the metro rails are working? How it is communicating? How safety is being ensured in the entire system? Common urban transport systems which is using worldwide are metro rail, mono rail, subways, underground rail system and U bands. The London rail system first opened as an underground rail system in 1863. The metro station with the longest route length is the Shanghai Metro. Biggest one is the Beijing subway. and one with most stations is the new york city subway since from the inception the metro rail technology had undergone numerous evolutions to better its safety quality of service speed and capacity now The latest technology in this is the communication based train control system that is CBTC systems many new metros in the world are operating in CBTC system in india kochi metro rail corporation is the first metro rail company which commissioned with CBTC technology The first phase they commissioned is 13.4 kilometers with 11 stations. The main objective of CBTC is to increase the capacity by reducing the time interval that is headway. Uh, the advantage of this system with the other uh, systems which have been already commissioned in revenue service uh, uh, is that uh, uh, here we we have a shortest headway we can maintain from here as compared to the other metros and in other metros it's, uh, it's a maximum achievable headway is 120 seconds. Now we are able to achieve here of around 90 seconds, which is designed. And uh, the advantage is that we can push more number of trains into the system and uh, with uh, based on the requirement of passenger requirement. To understand the benefit of the CBTC, we need to talk about the traditional fixed block signaling system. In a fixed block signaling system, the train routes are divided into blocks to keep the train at a safe distance apart. The blocks are electrically distinct segments of the line and can vary in length depending on the speed and geometry of the segment. When a train is detected in any part of the block, that block is considered occupied. The signal system thus keeps the train behind it at a safe distance by prohibiting the movement into an occupied or a buffer block. This safe distance is enforced by a stop arm, which activates the brake of the train if it tries to move into one of these blocks. It's a very safe system, but there are many limitations. First, there is no precise location or speed control. We never really know where the train is and and are limited in our ability to control the speed of the train. Since the train location is unknown, we cannot safely operate them more closely, so we can't increase the number of trains when the ridership wants. Secondly, the fixed block system is very complicated in terms of infrastructure. It takes a massive amount of wayside signaling, cables, power and other accessory equipments. Implementing the CBTC solves all these issues. CBTC uses a moving block system that's under centralized control. With CBTC, we can continuously know every train's location, direction of travel, and speed. This precision allows the train to travel together more closely and with increased safety. 
being able to reduce the space between the train means that we can provide more trains per hour when the ridership demands. The wayside infrastructure required for the CBTC is much simpler. Less maintenance is required since there are very few things that can go wrong. First Metro Rail is equipped with CBTC, this communication based train control. So this system is first in India is equipped in Kochi Metro. And this system comprises CBI, computer based interlocking, and ATC, automatic train control, and DTS, automatic train supervision, and DCS mechanism, DCS is data communication system. So this is uh, basically all the equipments here is IP equipment, so IP based equipments. So a CBI is meant for the degraded mode of operation and we will have the highest mode is ATP, so automatic train operation. So in this mode, our uh, train operator will be operating only the doors opening and closing and even the train, uh, the train door operation can be done by the system itself. And in ATP mode, we will have the complete train protection for the front and rear collision. And this uh, DCS mechanism will be giving a communication to all the equipments which is connected with this system. And apart from this, we will have the OCC, Operation Control Center, which is located at Mutam for this corridor 1. This corridor 1 starts from Alwa to Vita. And uh, presently, we are having the operational from Alwa to Malari Vatam on 13 km stretch. CBTC system consists of an operation control center called OCC where hardware and monitoring systems of automatic train supervision system and train control system ATC are installed. For KMRL, OCC is located at Muttam in Alua. In trackside, there are beacons in every 160 meters, axle counters in specified locations, radio access point antennas in regular intervals, wayside equipment to convert Wi-Fi signal. In train, we have onboard ATC called Carbon Control and an antenna under the train to capture the data from the beacons. Automatic Train Supervision is responsible to perform the following functionalities on Metro. Monitoring, displaying and controlling trains, automate planning and routing, vehicle regulation, coordinate traffic movements, management of train schedules, process emergency stop requests, updating and reporting train locations, raise alarms if required, recovery from time deviation in schedule. Automatic train supervision system. ATS system is completely software driven. It's designed for safe integrity level 2, hence SIL 2 certified. ATS is remotely located and continuously communicating with CBI, ATC, train cabin and station system. The communication is carried through a data communication system which consists of OFC channels and radio access points. DCS uses two redundant OFC channels laid along the track which are called red and blue channels connected to all devices in an IP configured manner. ATS communicates with the station and signals through these channels. It handles signaling along the tracks and train schedule announcements in the station. The communication between the train cabin and the ATS is through radio access points which communicates through a SASM based Wi-Fi protocol. These are placed 100 to 200 meter apart along the track. ATS is integrated with CBI and ATC system for running the train effectively. Automatic Train Protection System ATP, is a part of CBTC. This will give protection to the train system. Primary activity of ATP is to position the train accurately, which is essential for the CBTC to perform. Axle counter is one of the mechanisms to position the train. This will give a broad idea about the train position. How can the train's position be located at real time? Axle counters detect and signal whether line sections are clear or occupied, thereby creating the information basis for controlled track occupancy and safe railway operation. In this system, a counting head is installed at each end of the section. 
As each train axle passes the counting head at the start of the section, a counter increments. A detection point comprises two independent sensors, therefore the device can detect the direction and speed of a train by the order and time in which the sensors are passed. As the train passes a similar counting head at the end of the section, the counter compares count at the end of the section with that recorded at the beginning. If the two counts are the same, the section is presumed to be clear for a second train. For better and accurate positioning of trains, beacons are installed every 160 meters along the train track. The beacon, ID and location are stored within the beacon. When a train passes over the beacon, the antenna under the train will capture the ID and location and the info is transferred to the ATC. If the train misses data from two consecutive beacons, the ATS will generate an alarm and the system will apply emergency brake if it continues. Further, inside the train, there are measuring equipments called odometer which will get the position between two beacons. These meters will reset to zero at every beacon point. Inside the train cabin, there is an onboard ATC which will communicate information on a regular basis with the ATS. The time interval is milliseconds for better accuracy. Kochi Metro will be the first system in the country to commission the longest stretch in the shortest time. It's the first metro in India to use the advanced CBTC system. Hence, compared to other metros, it will be able to achieve the shortest headway, that is time between trains. It's future-proof with its ability to support more trains along the same track and its software capabilities which support unmanned operations. The centralized mode of operation with minimum dependency on the wayside equipment pushed the maintenance cost to the minimum. Hence, we can conclude that the operational efficiency of Kochi Metro is exceptional.